What, what do you think LLM's role in finance is, maybe from both a fundamental and a quant perspective? And I think there's definitely a lot of use cases. We've covered some of them already. Uh, on the systematic side, certainly sentiment analysis is one that comes to mind, and uh, there's been a lot of work on, on using LLMs for that. On the fundamental side, you know, we've had some discussions in earlier panels today on how they can be used in, in the case that you described. These LLMs are able to do some basic financial reasoning. They have a number of strengths in terms of their ability to extract information, to, to pull out what's relevant. And in fact, there was some research done, I believe, at the University of Chicago earlier this year that tried to see how would an LLM perform was asked to do a financial analysis task. It seemed that it actually does better directionally in terms of figuring out what earnings are going to be in the future than the average financial analyst. So, you know, this is still early research in terms of the work that was done, but it does seem like these models have promise. Of course, one of the downsides or difficulties is that it can sometimes be hard to understand how it's coming up with those recommendations. So that is something that, you know, work needs to be done on that.